All right, so as I told you, we're going to review the Glowish by Huda Beauty. It is their multi dew skin tint. It is a skin tint foundation. First, I need to give you a short story over here. So I did an entire day wear test of this yesterday and I also shot however the footage is not good and I don't want to put up that footage because I want it to be good. So uh, I'm going to wear this today but I'm going to talk about my experience that I had yesterday so it will be my first impression however uh, I'm wearing it for the second time if that makes sense <laughs> all right so this is the packaging the packaging is very simple super sleek it is a squishy tube however it comes with a pump the pump is really good and I am using it in the shade medium tan this comes in 13 shades and this retails for $38 and you have how many you have 1.35 ounce 40 ml this is made in italy and once you open the packaging you'll have to use it within 12 months so it's good that it has all the information over here and one pump is more than enough i did try to wear this with a primer and without a primer and surprisingly i felt the side without the primer was looking better than the side with the primer so I have my skincare already done. I did my skincare nearly two hours back. So it's all synced into my skin and I'm taking, I have clean fingers. They have two types of brushes for these. They have, I have one of the brushes. I have the bronzer brush, but I did not get the fan brush. The fan brush is especially for the glow tint. However, I did not buy it because I don't like a fan brush. And for a glow tint like this, I always like to use my fingers. And that's what they suggest online as well. You can use it with a brush, with a sponge or your fingers. So that's what I'm going for. And I am just taking one pump and this, color is a really good match for me so i'm just placing it on my skin and i'm gonna rub it in do you see the instant glow on my skin so that is it that is all that you need to do just take a pump in your fingertips warm it up a little bit and then rub it into your skin the only drawback for this one is it takes more than an hour or so for it to really sink into the skin. It does have rose oil in it and that is why I initially I feel that it is a little bit oily. I can feel it like a very heavy moisturizer on my skin. However, when you wait for the one, one and a half hours, it takes its time and it sinks into the skin and it gives such an amazing skin like finish so it is just like your skin but even better it has a little bit of coverage so if you have very little uh, pigmentation or uh, scars it would cover them however it doesn't have a lot of coverage i would call this medium coverage because um, it's not light coverage because it does cover up a little bit of my scars so i would give it a medium coverage it is a beautiful formulation. Initially, I feel it a little sticky and especially near the crevices of my nose and near my lips. I feel a bit itchy because of the oiliness that it has. However, it takes its own beautiful, happy time to sink into the skin. And after the one hour mark, it looks so amazing. So right now you can see how glowy it looks. It sinks into the skin and then you would not even feel or know that there is a layer of skin tint or foundation on your skin. It would just look like your skin but better. So this is the first thing that I like about the product that it has a radiance but it's not greasy. And we're going to look into the bronzer as well. So in order to do the bronzer and the blush, I want to do it a little more glowy look. So I'm going to do my color corrector, my concealer and I'll be right back. Okay. So tell me that it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> it does make a difference. So now I'm excited for the next product, which is the Glowish. It is the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. I bought two shades uh, darker than mine. So I've gone with the shade 04 Deep Tan. You also have a tan shade, uh, but I went for Deep Tan because I know it's the summertime. Uh, my son plays cricket. So in the weekends, I'm sitting in the field, in the open field for almost six to seven hours the entire weekend. So uh, yeah, I get a lot of tan during the summer. So I got a darker shade so that I can use it anytime, even when I get tan. So this is a very soft texture. Uh, 
Initially, I thought it was like a putty texture, but it doesn't putty. You have that soft way you can press it inside, but it doesn't have that texture. But look at the color. It has such a neutral color, but when you use it on the skin, it gives you a really uh, red undertone. It gives a red warmth to it. And that is what I like in a bronzer. I like a bronzer that has a very warm undertone. And I'm going to use the bronzer with this brush. So this is one of the brushes. This, I think it uh, retails for $28 if I'm wrong I'll just put the price somewhere on the side and see I'm already itching because that's the initial feeling when I use the skin tint the brush already has a little bit of bronzer in it because I used it yesterday uh, so yeah don't mind that if I take just one swipe look how much product I get in just one swipe so it's really pigmented uh, I did try the patting motion and I also tried to brush it through the skin and both works well. So look at the pigmentation, right? It's less is more. So I'm just taking two swipes and I'm patting it all over my skin. So what I did yesterday and I'm going to do it today as well. I just took a normal crease brush. I've taken the bronzer and I'm using it just on the outer corners of my eyelids and on the crease. And this gives an amazing warmth to my eyelids. At the same time, it's giving me a bit of dimension as well. So look at the difference at this eyelid and this eyelid. So I love, love this bronzer, even to use it as an eyeshadow. So I've already given you a hint that I'm loving the way it looks. I've already tried it yesterday and I know what I want to tell you about it. But let me do my full face really quick and I'll be right back. I'm ready. All right, so I did go for a red lip and so I had to change my shirt because pink doesn't go with red. So I'm ready to talk about the products. So the Glow Skin Tint Foundation, this is a beautiful product. So it is a foundation that is infused with a lot of skincare ingredients. Uh, they have a specialized, they have a Damascus Rose Oil that is used to even your skin tones. They have that in their skincare, in the Wishful Skincare. So that is one of the ingredients that is infused in this foundation. It is the Damascus Rose Oil, which again, it helps to even your skin tone and it hydrates your skin as well. It has plant-derived squalor which is an antioxidant but it also helps with hydration and the final ingredient in the top ingredients is red bell pepper I've never read about it in any of the skincare or cosmetics that I've used before and the red bell pepper extract it also uh, saves your skin from blue light rays so we use a lot of gadgets these days we are always on either our phone or television even when we are working we are in front of the computers or laptops and all of these gadgets Gadgets, they, pro they project blue light so this has the ingredient the red bell pepper extract so it protects your skin from the blue light rays as well so it has really amazing ingredients and it looks so beautiful as I told you before don't judge it as soon as you wear it because yes because of the heavy oiliness that it has it takes a little bit of time not a little bit of time it takes at least one more than an hour or so to sink into your skin and then to become a part of your skin so that is when it becomes skin like and I do have oily combination skin but till the end of the day yesterday I did the 8 hour wear test and even at the end of the day it looked exactly the same uh, it, I do have fine lines smile lines over here but it did not settle into any of my smile lines and it, it did not emphasize my pores everything looked absolutely fine it did give a skin light effect but uh, obviously it is makeup right so it looks like skin but it is not skin it is makeup so that is why I love the skin tint foundation and the packaging everything is good about it and then let's talk about the bronzer the shade the way it looks everything is amazing I love the way it looks combined with this foundation and the ingredients are exactly almost the same that we have in this foundation in the foundation there mica is another ingredient which is the topmost ingredient when you see the ingredient list below and mica is really good because mica is the ingredient that brings out the crystallized or the pearlized effect on your skin the same is with this it does have mica as the number one ingredient and all other the squalene the rose oil everything it has the same as it is in the foundation so it's really good for skin it has 
skincare ingredients i'm loving when cosmetics are coming out with products that has skincare infused in it because it's really really important for the skin to take care of your skin so when you love makeup and you want to wear makeup every day so you have to have something that has skincare in it and these are really good options so i just wanted to talk more about the packaging in this it looks absolutely beautiful it has a square base on the side but here when you have to take off the cap the cap is round so just because it is different shapes sometimes i feel that here it blocks because of the square over here and it is a little bit tough to open it up so you have to find the perfect space and uh, try to open it that's the only drawback about this but otherwise it looks amazing and it is it looks so pretty to keep it on your vanity so packaging is the only thing that they could have done it a little more better but I don't want to complain about it because it looks so pretty and the colors are really beautiful. I'm not sure if I told you that this retails for $31 and this comes in five shades. I love this foundation combined with this bronzer. I love this combination on my skin and it does have sheer butter but that is in the middle ingredient somewhere in between. So uh, I thought sheer butter might affect my skin and it's good that I wore it yesterday today and I know that I did not have any breakout last night and uh, no congestion of pores sheer butter I like it like to use it in my body wash or my body lotion however I don't use sheer butter on my skincare or my cosmetics but it is here but it still works good for my skin so I'm in my late 30s and I have oily combination skin and it looks amazing and works amazing for my skin type so it's a total thumbs up from my side. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.